Let's build 10 shortcuts to control your Apple TV. Everything from opening a specific app on your Apple TV, opening the remote app on your iPhone for a specific TV in just a tap, pause or start playback with the same shortcut, skip forward or backward a certain amount of seconds, wake or sleep your Apple TV with a HomeKit scene, and you can even make a widget out of all these shortcuts which make your Apple TV controls easy to get to. To start building, let's open the shortcuts app. You see, I already have 10 pre-made shortcuts, but we'll start from scratch. One of the most helpful things is creating shortcuts that can wake or sleep your Apple TV. Let's hit the plus button in the top right corner and under the search box here at the bottom let's search for TV. Right away you'll see many of the commands you can use with your Apple TV and we're also going to combine a couple to make some cool automations. But let's say we want to create a shortcut that when we run it it wakes up our Apple TV. I'll choose the wake Apple TV command and where you see the Apple TV grayed out tapping that allows you to choose a specific Apple TV to choose in your home. I want this to wake up the studio TV and that's the one I'll choose. That's all we need to do. Likewise, we can create a shortcut that makes an Apple TV go to sleep. Again, if I search for the TV command, choose Sleep Apple TV, and then you can choose your specific Apple TV again. Now, if you have multiple TVs in your home, one of the helpful things in a shortcut is you can create a menu. I'm gonna go back to my Wake Apple TV shortcut and search for Menu. You'll see here an action called Choose From Menu. I'm gonna customize the prompt here that asks which TV, and then for this menu, I'm gonna put the different names of my rooms. Let's say we have three Apple TVs, the family room, bedroom, and studio. Well, now I'll drag this one action that I had to wake the studio Apple TV and put it under the studio menu icon. I can also duplicate this action for wake Apple TV. I'll tap on the little icon on the left, hit duplicate, drag it under family room, and then choose one more, duplicate. And then where it says wake, I'll tap the name of the Apple TV, and select one of my other Apple TVs. So for family room, I'll select family room, and same for bedroom. Now when I run the shortcut for Wake Apple TV, it'll actually show me the menu of options, and then I can choose which Apple TV it's going to wake up. Another cool shortcut is you can actually pause or resume playback as a shortcut action. For this, go ahead and create a new shortcut, type in the search box again for TV, and here you'll see pause or play specific Apple TV. When we select that action, choose the Apple TV you want this to control, and then you can also tap play pause, and if you want this action to just pause it, you can do that, or play. If you choose the play slash pause, it will toggle between both states, which I find pretty useful. You can also have a shortcut that skips forward or backwards a certain amount of time. Once again, we'll create a new shortcut, search for TV in the actions menu, and skip content on Apple TV is the action we want. Now you can skip forward or backwards, choose which one, and you can choose how many seconds. You can type it in, maybe 30 or even 60 seconds, and then again, choose which Apple TV this action is going to refer to. Now I'm gonna show you how to combine some of these shortcuts in a minute, but another helpful shortcut is the studio remote. This way you can actually open the Apple TV control on your iPhone, already choosing a specific Apple TV. So if I run this shortcut, it'll automatically open the Apple TV remote with a specific TV selected. When you search for actions, look for the show remote control action, and then you can choose the specific Apple TV. Another really cool feature is you can automatically open a specific app on a specific Apple TV. For this shortcut, again, we'll search for the TV actions and then choose open app on Apple TV. Before we can choose the app, we need to choose the specific TV and you'll even have the option to open third-party applications. Once I've chosen my Apple TV, now I can tap on where it says TV and I see all the apps installed. I can choose something like YouTube and now when I run this shortcut, it will automatically open the YouTube app on this specific Apple TV. All right, one more single action shortcut and then we'll combine some, but you can also choose to run the screensaver from a shortcut. And that action is launch screensaver on Apple TV. Now let's combine some of these actions to make automations. For instance, maybe I want to wake up an Apple TV and then open the YouTube app. I'm going to start with a wake an Apple TV command, but then I'm going to search for a wait command. Searching for wait and adding it, I can then make this shortcut pause for a few seconds. I've timed it for my specific Apple TV. Seven seconds is good. This way it will wake the Apple TV, wait for the TV to be fully awake, and then we can choose to open an Apple TV app. Look, it's already suggesting open app on Apple TV right here, so I'll do that. Choose the specific TV, then choose the app. And now when I run this shortcut, it will wake this Apple TV from sleep. Hopefully it'll turn on your TV and home theater system. Wait a few seconds and then open the YouTube app. All right, my Apple TV is currently asleep, so let's run this shortcut. It's gonna wake the Apple TV and you'll see the shortcut's kind of waiting right now. It's gonna pause for seven seconds. And once the Apple TV is open, now it's gonna open the YouTube app. Before we get to the last automation, I'll give you one more quick action, which is dark mode. You can actually toggle dark mode or set it on or off on a specific Apple TV. Also to make all these shortcuts a little more useful, I've created a widget that I put on a home screen. This has some of my most used Apple TV commands. This way I don't even have to go to the shortcuts app. I can just do it here. Or if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, since all these actions are in one folder in my shortcuts app, I can actually go to my action button settings. I can choose this folder of Apple TV. 
And now when I hit my action button, it'll show me my top eight Apple TV commands right there from the action button, so I don't even need the widget. By the way, to add a widget like that with your shortcuts, search for the shortcuts widgets, and then you can select the largest widget possible to get as many controls on one home screen. Once you've chosen the shortcuts widget, tap it, and then you can select which folder to display in this widget. Select your Apple TV, and now all those shortcuts you created are right here on the home screen. Also, using these Apple TV shortcuts is a great way to automate your home theater. One of my main home theater shortcuts is called Watch Something. If I jump into the shortcut, you'll see I start with the menu where I choose which room I'm watching in. This will wake that specific Apple TV. Let's say I'm watching in my family room where I have my Hue Sync set up and the gradient light strip behind the TV. You'll see the first step is the Wake Family Room Apple TV, and then you can actually add a HomeKit scene control here. And in this HomeKit scene, I turn off all the family room lights, and Philips Hue actually has shortcut actions for their sync box. So I can turn on my Philips Hue sync box and then start that gradient light strip behind the TV syncing. This is what it looks like when it's running, say during a Marvel movie. And then I'll also open the remote control to that specific Apple TV on my iPhone. So in this one shortcut, I can set the HomeKit scene, start my Hue sync box, and I'm ready to control my Apple TV right here. And I also have other rooms set up. Like if I'm watching in the bedroom, I have a small HomeKit scene. This one I actually didn't have a scene made, but you can just control individual accessories with an action right here, and then show the remote control for the bedroom. Same thing for the main living room. Having one shortcut that sets your HomeKit scenes and your Apple TV settings all in one tap just makes it super convenient. For my final Apple TV automation, I've created this shortcut that actually rewinds or goes backwards 30 seconds with whatever I'm watching, and there is a turn on caption option, which would be amazing if it actually worked. I've tried this action multiple times. I'm on the latest versions of iOS and tvOS, no betas. And for some reason, the captions will not automatically turn on and turn off with the shortcuts action. You can see right now the content is playing. And if I run the shortcut, it will go backwards 30 seconds, but then shoots me over to the Apple TV control app for some reason. It did not automatically enable captions. Now this next thing only works when you're watching things in the Apple TV app, like rented or bought movies or Apple TV plus originals, but there is a shortcuts to enable captions right here in the app. If I tap that little bubble, now captions will be on for whatever content I'm watching. Unfortunately, this does not work in a lot of third party apps like Netflix or HBO Max. So this only works when you're watching things in the Apple TV app specifically. Maybe this action will start working again in a future tvOS, but for right now, at least it'll skip backwards 30 seconds, shoot you over to the Apple TV remote control, and then you can quickly tap captions there to enable it. So those are 10 shortcuts and automations for the Apple TV. If you have any questions about these shortcuts, leave them in the comments below this video. And if you're looking for like a shortcuts 101 course, I actually have a whole video where I walk through building seven easy one-step shortcuts step-by-step -step to really get you used to them. You could check that video out here. And I also have a bunch of shortcuts specifically for YouTube, like opening YouTube links from social media accounts directly in the app, how to quickly access your watch later queue and library. You can check out that video up here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.